hello welcome to this tutorial it is simultaneous equations and uh, we'll be looking at elimination method so here we take our problems use the method of elimination to solve the following pairs of equations simultaneously so we have uh, the first problem where we are going to start from um, we are going to name the equations 1 and 2 respectively so I have the first equation 3x plus 5y equal to 11 as equation 1 I have 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 as equation 2 um, the method of elimination is meant to eliminate one of the two variables that are involved in the equations so what we do now is we study the two equations and see which of the variables has their coefficient of the same magnitude so here we have a 3x here in equation 1 3x in equation 2 here 5y negative 2y so 3x 3x now we can see the coefficient of x in the two equations are equal so what we do now is since this is positive 3 positive 3 we are going to say equation 1 minus equation 2 so the operation here is minus so we have minus 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 so that 3x minus 3x gives 0 so 5y minus negative 2y negative negative gives positive so that's going to give us 5y plus 2y 5y plus 2y gives 7y 11 minus 4 gives 7 so 7y is equal to 7 dividing both sides by the coefficient of y which is 7 we have y equal to 1 now we have gotten the value of one of the variables which is y equal to 1 so we can substitute in any of the equations to get the value of x so we put y is equal to 1 in equation 2 so we have a 3x minus 2 into 1 is equal to 4 so negative 2 times 1 gives negative 2 on getting to this side it becomes positive 2 so we now have 3x is equal to 6 4 plus 2 gives 6 dividing both sides by 3 we have x is equal to 2 so in coordinate form it is 2 comma 1 that's x comma y in alphabetical order so we are done with problem one we go to problem two we have a a minus 4b is equal to negative 9 as equation 1 and 3a plus 4b is equal to 5 we name that one as equation 2 now we look at we study their coefficients again for the two variables i have a the coefficient of a here is 1 the coefficient of a in the second equation is 3 no they are not the same the coefficient of 4 the coefficient of b in equation 1 is negative 4 and that of equation 2 is positive 4 so they have the same magnitude so what we do now is we study their signs in equation 1 the coefficient of b is negative 4 and the coefficient of b is positive 4 in equation 2 so since they are of different signs we are going to add equation 1 and 2 so we have our plus 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 so a plus 3a gives a 4a negative 4b plus 4b gives 0 so we have negative 9 plus 5 gives negative 4 dividing both sides by 4 we have a is equal to negative 1 we have gotten the value of 
variable a in the equations so we want to look at uh, substituting a in any of the two equations to get our value of b so we put a is equal to negative 1 in equation 1 so that we now have it as uh, negative 1 minus 4b is equal to negative 9 so I have a negative 4b that this negative 1 going to the other side will give us negative 9 plus 1 which will give us negative 8 dividing both sides by negative 4 we have b is equal to 2 so in coordinate form we are going to have a comma b which is negative 1 comma 2 so we go to problem 3 problem 3 we have 3 n minus 3 n is equal to 6 as equation 1 and the second equation will be 3 n minus n is equal to 9 to be equation 2 we studied the, uh, the coefficient of m and n in the two equations so that we now have 2 here, 3 here, no, they are not of the same magnitude. This is negative 3, this is negative 1. They are not of the same magnitude. But we can make one of the equations to become of the same magnitude in coefficient for either m or n so here we can easily multiply equation 2 by 3 and we have their coefficients to be the same so equation 2 multiplied by 3 so that we now have it as a 9m minus 3n is equal to 27 we call this one equation 3 so what we do now is uh, we have transformed equation 2 to be equation 3 which is now having the same coefficient of n in both equation 1 and 3 so we study the signs this is negative 3 this is negative 3 since they are of the same signs so we are going to subtract so we say equation 3 minus equation 1 so this equation 3 minus equation 1 here so that we have 3m minus 2m gives 7m and the negative 3n minus negative 3n is 0 so we have 27 minus 6 gives 21 dividing both sides by the coefficient of m that is 7 so we have m is equal to 3 21 divided by 7 gives 3 so we've gotten the value of m we can now substitute m is equal to 3 in any of the equations to get the value of n so we put m is equal to 3 in equation 2 so we have 3 into 3 minus n is equal to 9 so we move this 3 times 3, 9 to the right hand side. We have negative 9 is equal to 9 minus 9. So n is equal to 0. So in the coordinate form, we have 3, 0. That is m is 3 and n is 0. So we are done with problem 3. We go to problem 4. So the first equation will be 4x minus 6y is equal to 5, equation 1. The second equation will be labeled 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. That's equation 2. Now, we study their coefficients again and see if we have any variable with the same coefficient. If we don't have, we transform it them to become the same in magnitude so here i have 4x 3x they are not the same negative 6y and 4y they are not the same um it is possible i multiply this one by 3 and multiply this one by 4 then i have them the same 
I can also multiply this one by 2 to give me 12 and multiply this one by 3 to give me 12 and make them the same so the either 4 and 3 or 2 and 3 so let me go for 2 and 3 so that's we multiply equation 1 by 2 and multiply equation 2 by 3 so this is going to give us 8x minus 12y is equal to 10 call it equation 3 this is a 9x plus 12y is equal to 24 equation 4 now we have uh, the coefficients of y for in the two equations to be of the same magnitude so what we do is check their signs this is negative this is positive so we are going to add equation 3 and 4 so adding we have a plus plus everywhere 8x plus 9x gives 17x negative 12y plus 12y gives 0 so 10 plus 24 gives 34 x is equal to 2 so we have x is equal to 2 then we can now substitute x is equal to 2 in any of the four equations to get the value of y so we put x is equal to 2 in equation 2 and uh, that's going to give us uh, 3 into 2 plus 4y is equal to 8 so that will now give us uh, this is 6, I can have 4y is equal to 8 minus 6, giving us 2. If you simplify this, that gives 6, taking it to the other side, it becomes 8 minus 6, which gives 2. So dividing both sides by 4, we have y is equal to 2 over 4. Simplifying it to the simplest form, we have y is equal to 1 over 2. So in coordinate form, we have 2 comma half. So we've done justice to problem 4. And uh, this is the highest we can go for now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Uninab Resources. Like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.